My name is Mark King. I'm a captain over of uh, Uniform Services. I've been with the agency 31 years. What we do in law enforcement is we gain control. We regain control in law enforcement, no matter what situation that is. We're paid in this profession to think about bad things happening and how we're gonna deal with them. Not in a cynical manner, but there's a misery that's associated with uniform services. And nothing predominantly bad, it's just uh, out there you have men and women at 3.30 in the morning that are trying to stay awake and get the job done. In a 12-hour shift that we work, it's a long shift. Uh, it really is. And over a period of time, it, it can wear on a deputy because that's not norm to live 12 hours all night long, awake, staying in a caution mode. They always have to be on their game. And, and we've seen that with so many law enforcement killed from ambushes and things of that nature. So there's miseries associated with the Uniform Patrol Services, but it's an earned misery. It's a respected misery. The generalized public doesn't understand, and it's not their fault. It's just they don't work in our arena. It's kind of like that person that makes the statement, and I, I guess every uniform officer has heard it at one time or another, is uh, see that you're getting paid to stand around, whether we're working traffic or, or we're waiting on investigators or whatever, you're getting paid to, to stand around. No, we're not getting paid to stand around. We're getting paid to be there, so when that thing happens, that officer is the one that's made a conscious decision that's willing to step in and do something at that time. A typical day on patrol for me would be, you know, you wake up, uniform on, you get to the office, you make line up. And when you talk about a typical day on patrol, it's also dependent on what shift you're on. If you're in the evening shift and you're coming in at 6 p.m., it's a little different coming in at 6 a.m. And you're always hunting for that first cup of coffee to get the day rolling. A lineup for me, and really any deputies, is kind of what's the flavor of the day. Once you kind of get rolling, you get out there, uh, try to get some food in your stomach as soon as you can because you don't know when that first call's coming. And even if you make it through lineup, you know, and, and sometimes you don't do that. Before I'm out. You, you get out, you start looking at your district. We've got one of the largest counties in the state of Tennessee. And when it comes to geographical diversity and those people in it, you're gonna deal with different people from an inner city position to an extreme rural area. Sometimes it seems like those days are nothing but wrecks. You'll have days that are nothing but disorders. And, and sometimes you'll get into those days that that's kind of the primary call you get all day long. And then some days it doesn't stop for the entire shift. It's just a consistency of bad things happening that we have to go put back in control. I don't know, I've, I've always loved coming to work. I think it, more than anything, it's the camaraderie. It's kind of the unity of this profession. And you cross that threshold when they say that it's in your blood, it's in your blood. It, it's, it, it's never gonna leave again. You can have a good time in this job. There's an objective at the end that this is fun and you can enjoy it by helping people, the camaraderie, uh, the objectives that you accomplish together. So coming together and being presented any potential unknown problem that most people can't have in a nightmare and you gotta come up with a solution, you gotta love that. And, and that that's what I, I enjoy about this profession. I've always enjoyed my job is give me that next higher problem so that I can fix it because it's fun doing that.
it's fun fixing problems. They're not yours or somebody else's, but we're problem solvers. That's what we do for a living.